And <laughs> we became the Brady Bunch, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play it on YouTube if we're really going to okay. do it. You were right on time with that. Good. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, guys, um, we're going to get started tonight. Thanks for getting on. And um, we are recording this, so you can get it to your teams that couldn't join us tonight. But we are stoked about a lot of things that are going on. And I think what we're going to do, um, Katie and Bonnie and CV and Carrie, if she's on, are going to be sharing a little bit about the Get Lean Challenge that we're going to start. So we're going to start with that. And then what, and then whenever, after they go over the challenge, then what we're going to do is I'm going to just kind of talk with you guys a little bit about our opportunity to share that we'll be doing tomorrow night, how to get guests on it. And I'm going to clarify that auto ship, um, um, post that's like this long about how to get free shipping. I'm going to make it a lot more simple of how to understand that. Um, it, that was really complicated. I'm like, whoa, this is like a chapter book. But anyway, so um, so I'll help you guys with that. But all right, so I don't know, Katie, CV, you guys take it away, Bonnie. Um, share with these guys a little bit about what we're doing and all of that good stuff. Hey guys, are you guys pumped or what? Did anyone yeah. see the free shipping today and go yes, please, yes, free shipping? Whatever, all the details. I'll read that little novel and make it happen. I hope you guys do too because hello, that's what we've been waiting for. It's what I've been waiting for. Like, oh, please give everybody free shipping before January. So everyone is still saying after Christmas. This is when we start saying it's after Christmas, right? Your credit card bill that you're worried about is going to come after Christmas too. So everybody can just relax on Christmas now. Hopefully we'll be able to tell people that, look, I'm all about waiting to get started till after Christmas, but we need to get your products now because there's something coming up in January that we're super excited about and it's our January challenge. If you are in fitness or you've never been in nutrition, fitness, health before, this is the time. So if everyone's been kind of like sluggishly like thinking, oh, no one's answering me, everyone's saying this, now get fired up because this is it. Like if you are going to have somebody join you in this fitness journey, it's going to be in the next 10 days for real. So in the next 10 days, you have this awesome opportunity to make sure that your friends start something that they're not going to give up on the 12th of January right back where they started regretting buying a, a whole pack full of random stuff from another company. Because I think you each have seen or you know and you know deep down and you have the belief that this product is going to change them in a real way. And it's going to be the first thing that hopefully they dedicate to and they'll send back. And the way that we've been doing that is when Amy started doing, and I know everyone was part of it, these accountability groups. So the 11 day challenge. So we were going to do a 30 day challenge. There's a 21 day fix. You guys all know about all these different challenges that are out there. I personally like the longer challenges, but people quit. The other thing is if we do a 30 day challenge and it starts January 2nd and everybody was waiting until after Christmas to order, how many people are you going to have in that challenge? Like, we don't know, right? Whoever we can really talk to and get put into the system, make sure that their stuff gets to them and that they're right on board. We'll get those people for January 2nd. But that is the only reason that we split this challenge. So this is the 2017 Get Lean Challenge. It is split into two 11-day challenges. One starts on the 2nd of January and it ends on January 12th. And then we're going to keep posting on the 13th, 14th, 15th, get new people excited and started for a second 11-day challenge, January 16th through the 26th. So it, it really truly is a 25-day, but really we're going to keep posting even after that on the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and we're going to announce the winner on the 31st. So you guys can sell this or share this as a true full month of a challenge. The thing that this is allowing you to do is first of all, give people two opportunities to win. How cool is that? So you can win the first challenge. Like where's Brandon and Nicole? Like Brandon and Nicole are like raking it up because everyone's like quitting these 11 day challenges. You have two chances to win this challenge and we're going to go over what the prizes are and how to get them. 
but I really want you guys to really get your head wrapped around how awesome this is because people who don't get started by the second, they still have a chance. So you're not going to be on the fifth or sixth and be like, oh, everyone's a bum that they missed our challenge. So does everyone kind of understand the 11 day and why we're doing that and splitting it? Cool. The difference with this challenge is it's going to be a little bit more detailed. We're going to have Carrie's carry on. Carrie is going to carry. Yeah. Carrie, do you want to share with us um, what you're going to be preparing in terms of like a real meal plan and grocery for anyone who wants to take this? Some people want to take this super, super serious. And they're like, are you going to tell me what to eat? Are you going to tell me what to buy? Are you going to tell me what to do? There's a certain percentage of people that are like that. And that's why we have the beautiful Carrie. So Carrie, can you tell us a little bit about what you've got prepared for the group? Yeah. So what I plan to do is just like, I mean, people are kind of used to the meal planning thing. What I kind of want to do is more of like a meal calendar. So I'm going to give you guys like options and we're going to give you the recipes and we're going to give you what the recipe entails us including the shopping list so you can like okay for this week maybe i want chicken on tuesday maybe i want this on wednesday so then you have a little variation rather than you know for me i'm i don't really like people controlling what i what i put in my mouth so if i can have a little flexibility i can still do the program and not be like capable of it if that makes sense to people so then that way you can pick out the three recipes you want to do for those three days here's your shopping list go wild so it still gives you control it still gives you the education that you need and the guidance um but you put the ball on your court as well awesome and then Bonnie, so Bonnie's kind of our guru for showing people that this doesn't have to be super, super strict and you can still have amazing results. So Bonnie, do you want to share with us a little bit about what you are going to lead? Like, so the other percentage of people that don't be so serious, they're like, look, girl, I'm not going to be preparing meals off of a recipe sheet. I just know me. I've got a family. I've got this. Can you tell us what you're going to provide? Yes. Um, so... I'm not a very detailed person. I don't go to the grocery store with a grocery list. I just pretty much swing it. Um, and um, my last meal of the day is never really planned. Um, if anything, um, it's just really, I just know what I can eat and with moderation. It might even be like a taco salad from down the road, the little Mexican joint. Um, but I do stick with the grilled chicken and all that. I don't count my calories. Um, when I did start, you know, of course I did my fitness pal app for about three days. Um, and that was it. I just kind of knew what I could, you know, eat. And I did utilize all the snacks though. And isogenics, it was just easier for me, um, to do that as far as, you know, the, uh, the slim cakes and the, and the protein bars. So that's what I focused on mostly was just using those snacks and maybe some yogurt in between. But as far as, um, I knew I could drink my two shakes and then have my one meal, 600 and 800 calories. Um, and I just kept it simple. I just, you know, anything I've tried all those diets out there and counting points and all this stuff. And I just when at the beginning when they're like, Oh, you need to count your macros and micros and all this stuff. I'm like, no, I'm just going to stick to the 30 day plan, follow it to the, you know, how it goes on that and just kind of know, what I can eat and what I can't eat, stay away from fat free and low fat Cokes. And so, um, I mean, I've been enjoying holiday foods. I can tell you, I mean, this, I've been enjoying it. And, um, I was down two pounds this morning. I was, we were on a phone call earlier and I was like, I had like a bag of ruffles and some ranch dip last night. And I drank my four ounces of cleanse before bed and two ice of flesh. And so I think it's, you know, I added cardio now. I'm back at Zumba, and I think that has a lot to do with it. I'm just staying active every day. But, um, you know, I don't deprive myself from the foods now. I mean, at first, I was really strict, like I didn't have cheat meals or anything. And that's what I'll kind of talk about, like short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. In other words, I didn't have a cheat meal until I reached my goal. And it's not a cheat day. It's a one cheat meal if, that's your, if you want to do that. It's not a cheat day. And so, but I didn't even have a cheat meal during my whole weight loss until I got to my goal weight of 138. 
um, from 210 pounds, that's when I started having, you know, a cheat meal. But, um, and then, you know, yeah, I still have junk food night with my kids. I'll eat some candy bars. And uh, my, right now, the, what's in season is white fudge dipped Oreo cookies. And psh, I have probably about two a day. But, and so, um, but I just, you know, four ounces of cleanse every night and two ice of flush and I'm good to go. I'm covered and uh, maintaining now for four and a half years. Um, so 77 pounds and down to a size four. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it real with them and I'm going to, you know, say, Hey, don't feel like, you know, this to me, this is just a, you know, a healthy lifestyle. I've been on diets and I hated them. I hated them with a passion and, um, I hated counting stuff. So I'm going to say, Hey, you know, this is, you know, it's not a diet. You just make the right choices, but still enjoy the food, you know, and just in moderation and have fun with it, you know, so. Awesome. So that's exactly it. So some people are going to want to go 100% strict. If somebody has 80 pounds to lose, we're not going to be like, yeah, have a bunch of Oreos covered in fudge, right? Like that is something that you can choose. And we all know that with weight loss, like it's things where if it happens, we just can't guilt ourselves. So I really want you guys, when you're talking to people, this isn't like, all right, let's go. Let's get this challenge on. You know, that's how I want to be all the time. Like, all right, don't put that in your mouth. If you want to lose weight, let's go. But most people, we need to give them that freedom to be a little guilty and not feel guilty about it. You know, do this, do the things and then know that the next day or that night with some cleanse and isoflush, apparently, I didn't know the secret. I need some Oreos, and some isoflush or something. But right. In and general, right? one thing uh, is too, Katie, I was going to say is that, you know, somebody that's drinking six Diet Cokes a day, you can't start coaching them and say, you know what? You got to cut every one of those out tomorrow. Like no diet Cokes. You're going to scare them away. So that's one thing I'm like, cut back to like, you have three a day. Okay. Cut back to two a day, you know, gradually taking it off. That's like trying to tell a smoker. He's got to quit smoking tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So you've got to gradually wean them off of, of, you know, what they're, they're eating, you know, bad or whatever it's Mountain Dews or whatever. So, you know, Cokes, six Cokes a day or whatever. I mean, I've had somebody I coach that was drinking that many a day. You can't say you're zero tomorrow. You've got to gradually wean them off, um, you know, the Cokes. So. Agreed, agreed. And then we have Dr. CB. So CB is going to kind of pepper in a product of the day. So I want CB, will you tell us a little bit of what you're planning to add to the group? Because this is like, this is like the challenge 10.0 right? Like we do these 11 day challenges and it's great. We're doing workouts and we're posting a couple meals, but this is the real deal. They're going to have access to doctors. They're going to have nutrition. They're going to have the workouts. They're going to have real guidance. Maybe like Bonnie goes live every day, like with an, a meal option that's not 100% perfect. Like you went to the grocery store and then CV is going to provide us with some more content every day as well. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry for my voice guys. I went from 85 degree weather to minus eight. And my voice doesn't like it, but I feel awesome. So anyway, um, yes, I am so excited about just the whole thing. I think the accountability, we're taking it to like off the charts with the workouts, with the, you know, the strict diet, the flexible diet, the workouts, the, I mean, it's just, just going to be amazing. And so what I'm going to provide is every day I'm going to have a product of the day because so many people, they use just the, like the five core products but there's others in there that provide so much value and have so much like influence over your success or your lack of success or like how to get through a plateau or um, all those frustrating moments. And just, there's so many things that the products that could be used strategically to really catapult you to that next level. And so I'm excited to share every day, the product of the day and how you can implement that into your routine. So I'm going to keep it short tonight because I really can't talk. I'm sorry. I made you talk. I totally like, I just see your face all smiley and I'm like, see me, what's up? You're like, I can't talk. Um, so anyway, we should enter in a little bit of, of the product every day and then workouts. Okay. I am going to provide a workout for people who have experience with going to the gym and have access to a barbell or heavier weights and are looking to kind of build and maintain lean muscle mass. Then I'm going to do an at-home workout. So people can mix and match. They'll be like, oh, I can't get to the gym today. I'm going to do the at-home. 
they can go to the gym with the gym one or they can just go to the gym. But if they want our guidance or a little bit of help of like working the, the body in a different way for these 11 days at a time, um, then they're going to do the workouts that I provide. If not, then keep doing the workouts that they're doing and they can still post about it and get, get obviously as much as they're going to get out of their current workouts. But just so you guys know, I'll post a video of an at-home workout and a gym workout every single day. Any day that there isn't an actual workout posted, it's typically where I'm doing like, I'm trying to give people's body a rest that are actually doing the program. Because if you do my workouts every single day, there's a day out of the week where you really just want to be like, yo, can we walk? Like this isn't, this isn't cool. So I still am going to provide that within the 11 days, but there'll be an at home kind of workout to do on that day as well. But hitting the gym hard is going to be an option. And I'll be putting in um, my sweat program, which was it's CrossFit, but a lighter weight, heavier rep, and then show people a way to maybe do some set of squat or I'm going to put some kind of muscle training in so that people could do that and the cardio section, or they can choose just to do, you know, the five sets of five or the heavy rep or an AMRAP or, or a, a minute on the minute for any kind of squatting and things like that. So I'll be there for questions, but there will be two options now. I typically just post one. Um, and people who are totally new are like, forget that girl, she's crazy. And people who are really, you know, intense are like, oh, that's going to be easy, even though it's not, by the way, do it. Do it before you say that. So, but we're going to have it all. So if you guys can think of anything that this challenge doesn't have, I can't. Um, I'm really proud to be part of this one. I, I wish almost it was a 30 day, but I just think we're going to really lose out on people that don't get their stuff together right after Christmas. So sell this as a cool way that hey, you start falling off in the first 11 days, get back at it. On the 15th day into the challenge is when we start the 11 day challenge. So get your, you guys are the ones that need to know all the details. So we're gonna write out every single detail so that it's written, so that if you heard it from me and you forget, You've got it in writing, and then tomorrow on the option, we're going to make it really clear and really user friendly, so that people are like super excited. We're not going to be so like we're not going to be boring. We're not going to be too detail oriented, but we're just going to get people revved up and ready to go. So, so Amy, let us know what that big novel of free shipping was because I'm using that thing like crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I want to make like a few thousand dollars in the next couple of weeks. Are you guys in? Like, I want to make a couple thousand dollars, three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. Anybody? No? Yes. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, guys. So I want to talk to you about some logistics of the challenge. Um, and then we're going to talk about the call and the free shipping. So hang with me for a second. There's a couple things different from this challenge. Those of you that were around in 2015, probably um, some, I know some of you were, and you probably remember this, but during the challenge, of course, we have the two 11 day challenges and people can participate in the challenge one of two ways. So they can either participate just how um, Katie and Stevie and Bonnie and Carrie are putting it into place or they can choose to pay $10 and, the, and their money will be placed into a pool. Um, there'll be a PayPal account that they're able to pay to. You can also participate. So even if you're on right now, you participate in the challenge and you can pay $10. And then what happens then is at the end of our first 11 days, let's say that there are 50 people that pay $10. Then at the end of our first 11 days, We'll take 50% of that money, so 250, let's say, and that's going to be, then we're going to have some judges, and we're going to have um, number one, number two, and number three. So the number one person in overall, um, it's not really weight loss, more so pictures, transformational pictures, because it could be lean muscle, that type of thing. The number one person will win 50% of the pool. So they would get, if there was 500 collected, they would get 250. And then the number two and number three spots will actually divide the money, if that makes sense. And so now let's say that you have someone that doesn't want to pay the $10. The last time we did this, almost everybody paid it because it was fun. It was like when somebody's having a baby and you try to guess whether it's a boy or girl and you pay money into the pot in the office. You guys know what I'm talking about? So most people pay it. And um, so then... Um, 
most people do. If they choose not to, they can do the challenge without paying the $10, but if they don't pay the $10, then their picture doesn't go into the voting, so they don't have the chance to win money. Does that kind of make sense, guys? So we'll run, so we'll do for the first 11 days, every, whoever wants to play in that is gonna pay $10, we'll vote, and then we'll come back then on January 16th, we'll start the new challenge, and you can pay $10 again, or maybe you didn't pay $10 the first time, you can do it the second time, and you can play in that pool. So of course, the more people that are playing in the pool, the more money that we'll give out. Does that kind of make sense? Any questions about that? Because I know that's a little bit different than what we typically do. We've done it before. So any anything about that? You guys got that? Okay, awesome. Now, um, so tomorrow night we'll have our first op Zoom. It won't be this long. Um, but we'll just get right to the point. We will talk about the products, what the products um, have to offer. And we're going to talk about the challenge. We'll also talk about the pool, like how to play, how, if they want to pay the $10. So that challenge is for guests. You can also use it for anyone that's currently on your team to get them on, to get them engaged. We're going to talk about that in a second. So that's tomorrow night at 8 p.m. It's a little bit earlier just so we can serve the East Coast better because sometimes it's like 10 o'clock there when we're doing that. So um, it gives us a little bit better time to do it at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Now, the deal is this, guys. You really want to you really want to work this op Zoom. Um, don't just think, oh, well, um, if it happens, it happens. Right now is the time all over my Facebook. Right now, I see it works. I see Shakeology. I'm seeing sponsored ads from companies, um, GNC right now, trying to get people's business. And so you cannot afford, we cannot, our January can't afford for us to get behind right now. So tomorrow night needs to work. So what I would do then is I would, the first thing you've got to do is this. You've got to list out who have you talked to that said to you after Christmas? Who have you talked to? Who have you talked to that is interested? Who have you, everyone, Sarah said everyone, yes. Who have you talked to? This is the deal. Their money will be loosening up. A little bit of what we felt isn't even so much money. Um, a lot of it is busyness. But right now, if they wanna start on January, if they wanna start January 2nd, no matter what program it is, they need to be looking on December 26th or December 27th to purchase whatever it is to have whatever they need in place. So that's not going to be foreign to them. So to get them on the Zoom now is going to prepare them. So what I would do is I would message them and I would say, hey, I know that you are interested in doing this after Christmas. So I want you, well, can you get on and can you watch what our January challenge is. At this point, don't try to scoot them up. Don't try to say, buy it now, let's do it now. Don't try to sell them. The only thing you wanna sell them on is getting them on the Zoom tomorrow night, even if they're saying they're not gonna buy anything until January. Because you have a couple of things in your favor when they get on tomorrow night with A, being the free shipping, and B, being us being able to share with them how if they order by the 26th, they'll have their products in in time, and that way they have the info and they're ready to roll. What we don't want is we don't wanna be sharing this information on the 27th, 28th of December, and they'll lose the January 1st people because we waited a week too long. Is this making sense for you guys? And so you wanna proactively really go in and ask them about that. Um, the other thing that you want to do that this should be the biggest job for you in the world. Anybody that is already on your team needs to be on that zoom tomorrow night. So I don't care who they are. I don't care if they've been inactive since January of 2016. You want to message them and get them on personally invite them to do the challenge with you. Invite them. Listen, listen. Um, I'm trying to think of somebody. T, Lavelle could call T. Listen, T, T, I just want you to do this challenge with me. Will you get on and look at it? I want you to watch what it is because I think this one is the one. Because if you can get your team engaged and they're getting product results, 
we'll be working on posting they're gonna get their two people. I think so many times we're looking for the new when the miracle is already in our own house with our current team. So it is as equally important tomorrow that you have your current team members on that call as you do new people. Is that kind of clear? You guys get that? I mean, what's the difference? And who cares? If it's an old person ordering a 30-day system or a new person, does it really matter to you? It really doesn't. And so get them engaged. A lot of people just need a phone call. It's like inviting someone to church. A lot of times they need a phone call. They're not going to go on their own. So you invite them to do this challenge with you. I hope you do that. I would beg you to do that because that's where you're going to see a lot of your activity coming from. And then also the new people. And so I want to share a little bit about the challenge. I'm going to simplify it a lot. There's free shipping. The free shipping is on Tuesday and Wednesday. So tomorrow and the next day, that's really what it is. You have to order 125 business volume. So our days run, if you're in the central standard time zone, they run from 11.01 central time. So 11, basically they run from 11 to 10.59. So if you place an order in the central time zone at 11.01 tonight, that counts as a Tuesday order, okay? So, and so you only, you have to order on Tuesday or Wednesday if you want free shipping. It does have to be 125 business volume. And the other piece of this is it counts on auto ships. But your auto ship has to go out either on Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's, this isn't anything new. If you need to change your auto ship to go out on, if you want your auto ship to go out Tuesday, which is tomorrow, that has to be fixed in your back office by 10.59 tonight. And if you want it to go out on Wednesday, it has to be t fixed by 10.59 Central Standard Time tomorrow night. So basically, it sounds really complicated on that thing, but there's free shipping Tuesday, free shipping Wednesday. And the days and the day ends Central Standard Time Zone at 11 o'clock. Does that kind of make sense, guys? So that's something else that you can do um, is you can look at your team then and, okay, so let's just talk business for a second. The reason why the company did this, if I can just be super blunt with you, um, is that it really causes people, this is a week, typically would be a week, week for us because a lot of people are like, I'm going to do it on the 26th. They're shutting down. So the company is offering this. So what it does is it causes people to go ahead and move their auto ships back to the date that they originally had them anyway, and it helps us to close people. So don't assume that the people on your team are seeing that. Don't assume it. They're busy. And so getting them on the call tomorrow night, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it on the call tomorrow night. We will talk about it so you can get them on, or you can also message them about the free shipping. But you guys, be proactive. Um, I was telling the executives today, literally, if you were to spend an intentional 10 minutes tomorrow, tomorrow morning, or even tonight, inviting people, and then right before the Zoom tomorrow, so the Zoom's at 8 p.m. Central Time, at 7 o'clock, send them reminder text. If you do not send them a reminder text, they will not be on. Can I say it again? If you do not send them a reminder text, they will not be on. And it's not disrespect, it's the holidays, meaning that they're busy. And so you invite them tonight, you invite them tomorrow, and at one hour before, you send them a reminder text. And this is the best yet. Um, so if you, so we're giving away also tomorrow, if you have 10 people, 10 new people, 10 new prospects on the call tomorrow night, you get the hustle t-shirt. Do you guys remember? I'll put it up on Ice or Rock so you can see it. So it's a baseball style tee, so cute. My daughter loves it. She's like, oh, I love that one. I know me too. I'm ordering myself one when I order the prizes. And so you get the hustle t-shirt when you have 10 guests on. But there's a there's a catch to this. The 10 guests after the call tomorrow night have to message you and they have to say, they have to give you their feedback. So tomorrow night when we close, we're gonna say, all right, say so the person that had you on is trying to win this really cute shirt, but in order for them to win it,
they have to have a message back with your feedback and your feedback can be no way I would never do it even if even, like, I will never do it they're crazy or your feedback can be sign me up I'm ready or this isn't my time but whatever it is we need your feedback to be text back to your associate and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna screenshot those feedbacks to your executive and if you have 10 of those you win the t-shirt Okay, who's gonna try to win that t-shirt? Who's gonna get 10? Woo! I mean, you guys, you can still do it. 10 guests, you get the t-shirt. I mean, it's awesome. All right, I know that was like a lot of information. Any questions at all? Anybody? I don't think so. All right, is this not exciting? Lavelle, go ahead. Lavelle. I mean, what, what I got in on a slate, the, what day does this start on? Um, the actual, the um, sec January 2nd is the first part of it, and then it'll start again on January 16th. And Lavelle, we'll put the details up on Isorox, and then Katie's also going to start another page, um, just because, I mean, that's the only, that's really the only way we can track it. Okay. Thanks. Uh-huh. Yep. Anybody else? And that, you guys, that page... When that starts and January 2nd, it all begins. When you get people signed up from the 2nd to the end of that one, which will be the 12th, you add them into that page. So while they're waiting for their product, they're doing the workouts. They're seeing what's being posted. They're getting some info about the product of the day from CV. So use that group all of the beginning of January to get people set up for the second challenge. Don't think you have to wait. That's all I'll say. But you guys, 250 that's so easy. At least 50 of us are going to put $10 in 250 in 11 days. Who doesn't want that? That pays for their 30 day almost. So just get people excited about this. It's a really cool thing that we're doing. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. And I know I keep going on one more thing, but I do want to show you one more thing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this, or you can look at my Facebook page, but I did this post today and I got so much business off of it. There's a teaser for the challenge and I just put cookie dough. Is that part of the diet program? Actually, yes, it's part of the 20% rule. Thank you for asking. Eat the darn cookie, be a human, get lean 2017, nutritional cleansing. And I literally, um, I didn't have a ton of likes on it, but I've had people private message me about what is the get lean 2017 challenge. So get creative on your wall. I mean, people are looking for that. So you can kind of look and see what Katie's posting or not. Katie can't post right now, but you can look and see what CV's posting, what Bonnie's posting, what I'm posting. Um, Angel does an amazing job. Look at those posts and kind of watch what's going on so that you can kind of mimic that a little bit if you need to do that. All right? I'm excited. All right, so tomorrow night at 8, 8, 8 tomorrow. 8 is great. In case you forget and feel like it's at 9, it's 8 is great. All right. Thanks, guys. Eight is great. Thanks. Ten people for a hustle shirt. All right. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mm hmm.